Right. And she did get a 911 call off, and EMS did respond, right? Yes, yes. What happened when they got there? Um, as far as I know, it was, it was just too late. They tried everything they could. They did the best they could. And your sister's car apparently had electric windows, and she, they shorted out, and she couldn't escape through them. Is that correct? Yes. You know, Katrina, I, I hear in your voice this is such a difficult conversation to have, but there's something that just gave me goosebumps when I heard about your sister's plight and another man who happened to drive into the Salem River. Tell, tell everyone what happened. Um, well, apparently after she had made uh, her 911 call, the, um, all the troopers, they came out, and then there was another man who was going on the road the opposite way. Mm. And they tried to flag him down, and they couldn't. And he ended up also getting swept into um, the river. But, they but because they were there, because she called, she saved his life. Your sister saved another person's life, yet sadly she had to lose hers. Yes. Oh, Katrina, I'm, I'm so, so sorry. Can you tell us quickly about your sister? 20 uh, years yes. old? Yeah, she was 20 years old. She... She was touched by everybody that she met. She was bright light in everybody's life. She was a wonderful sister. She was my best friend. She was a dedicated daughter. She would go out of her way to help anybody, and she had the most beautiful smile that was contagious to everybody around her. Oh. Um, she was not only beautiful, but she was extremely talented. She had the voice of an angel. She could play any instrument that she touched. She was self-taught. Um, she was attending Salem College, and she was going for um, her music education license. She wanted to teach music. Oh, Katrina, thank you so much for sharing your sister.